see TV was not something everyone wanted to do, but then there became an audience for it and a, and a value to it, and that's where that came. And that's why we show the value of this fan base and the value of what we're doing and the reboot of what's going on. I know Jordy and I, when you asked, you know, did you think the day would come? Jordy and I were on one of our first interviews for Payouts, and we talked about it's going to come back. Daytime will come back. It's just not going to come back in the same form. And what was it, Jordy, a week, two weeks later that the reboot was announced? Yeah. The Prospect Park is back on it. We sent a clairvoyant. But it's, it's, it's something that, that doesn't change. Uh, like half-hour comedies went away in their normal state for several mm-hmm. years because of the success of, of the reality TV shows that took its place. And all it took was one really good one, and then they start coming back, and now they're all family-oriented. Why? Because Modern Family is the number one show out there, or Two, two and a Half Men is the number one show out there or whatever it ends up being, it, it, it gets affected. So we're looking forward to affecting a change in, you know, what the networks want as well as showing what the fans are, are, are deserving of. That's a, it gives us a voice, and it gives you a voice. Absolutely. So that's yes. the most important we all need part a voice. of it. Yeah. Now, for our listeners, go to payosrevolution.com. Right now you're only going to see an email and some pictures and a little write-up, but sign up for the email and, uh, you know, you'll be able to be notified when something new is up, right? We should be launching uh, this week, I believe. Yeah, Um, we will be launching this week. Um, I'm sorry, go ahead, Jordy. No, I I was just going to say we had some technical difficulties. We were hoping to launch today, but we want to make sure everything's perfect for when we launch uh, this week. Uh, I will be tweeting and sharing my thoughts on on Facebook, and the Payless Revolution's uh, uh, Facebook page will also be tweeting when the website is live. And I have actually written, uh, under a lot of distress, my first blog, which I hope will be well received. Um, it was under distress that, with somebody <laughs> forcing you to write something. <laughs> no. I, I'm sorry, say again, what was that, Pam? No, you I said, said you're under, under a lot of distress. Stress. Were you being forced or what? Or you didn't know <laughs> no, what to I, say? No, it, I had so, uh, this, it, it, this site means so much to me. And mm-hmm. I don't, I want, to, and the people that I'm working with, uh, I have a lot of respect for. So, I and I had never written a blog. And I really wanted to like I and I never you know the only time I've actually been asked to share my thoughts were through something like this like an interview with a magazine or something this was my first time that I sat down and got to really share my thoughts and feelings on why I felt something like this payless revolution was necessary and why I believed in it so much so I cared so much about it, and that's why I was under distress. You know, I, I really wanted mm-hmm. to be received well. So that's it. And Well, if you I, just make it in your head as a letter, like you're writing a letter to that, somebody exactly. and not necessarily a blog, it doesn't put as much pressure on you. And we as fans will not look at your spelling errors. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't care about spelling errors. <laughs> it's been checked. It's um, when it wants to get the words right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to have a lot I'm telling you Pam we're going to have a lot of great blogs some people you won't even imagine will be on our page and I think the fans will be very surprised and happy with who we have blogging on our page so stay tuned uh, with what's going to come on our website it's going to be it's going to throw people they're going to be like they got who to blog for this and really? they're going to be very excited oh. about who they're going to see it's going to blog on our page as well as the content as well as the apparel that we're going to be putting out there. I mean, I'm talking about high-quality stuff, mm-hmm. and I think that people are going to be um, really happy with what they're going to be able to get out of our website. Well, I know I will probably wear a Payos Revolution T-shirt, so. Well, well, there you go. No probably about <laughs> it. You'll know yeah. where Chicago <laughs> is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wear it every time I go out, so that way people there can question go. me what that means and what it there is. There you go. Thanks, Pam. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, we will have a very good array of things for you. And like Jordy said, they're very stylish. We took, we took the time to figure out stuff that looks good but doesn't have to be mega expensive for us to manufacture and put out there. So we're we're, we're trying to full circle, help 
take care of everybody out there uh, as far as their, how their support will be for us. You know, another thing, too, that I think is, is important, because when I first found out about Kickstarter projects, um, you know, the, the minimum that will show you, let's say it's $10, you know, right. to contribute and you get this and that and whatever. But right. I didn't realize that you can donate as little as a dollar. You may not get anything as far right. as physically, right. but, of course, you're going to be sponsoring a show that you're going to want to watch. So I right. think it's right. very important that you let your fans know when they donate that it could be as little as a dollar. Absolutely. E- well, yeah, Each we're, one of them a- adds up. Oh, of course. Well, like I said, if you talk 2 million people, that's, that's mm-hmm. way more than what we're going to be yeah. asking for if they all gave a dollar. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. But and, and they'll get and something for, in return for it. So. And, absolutely. Well, and also for the fans to know that uh, if if you go to our, what you said about our our website right now, if you go there, there's just a splash page where you can give us your email address so that we we can uh, notify you as soon as everything is ready and rolling. But also, you it really will help us if you go to our Facebook page and our Twitter as well, and just like our Facebook page and, and, and keep raising those numbers so we know who everyone is and we can get out to that, the masses in, in more than just one way. Yeah, and I tweet that out almost daily as far as cool. going to your Facebook page and liking it and then also following you on Twitter and going to the website. So Thank you. We, we appreciate it. That one it. person doing so the, their job, and I know there's many others, but just so you're aware, I do do that almost daily. Uh, well, thank you so much for that. That's awesome. You're welcome. And we'll also put this on our website uh, once I speak with Dawn, who handles the website, and have her put it on there so they know. And let us know, too, about the Kickstarter, and we can put that on there, too. That would be great. Yes, please. Absolutely. Now, you have pictures of people on your, your, your website. Are those people already involved? Those are people that are interested in 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 what we're doing. You know, they're they're uh, they're they're very supportive of what we're doing. When we first started off, we we talked to a lot of actors and told them what we were doing. And those are just some of the people that were very supportive in what where we were headed and excited about our idea. And you know, we 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 look forward to hopefully having those people do episodes of Perfect Day, possibly blogging. You know uh, the the things that we're doing, as well as the movies, which we haven't really even talked about today. Is that that's a, that's a next step thing? Uh, we have a movie called On Air that uh, mm-hmm. that I'm I'm still in the process of finishing up the uh, the the final script on. Uh, but you know the movies take a long time to put together and money, and uh, right. so we're we're starting. Always with comes the down to money, doesn't it? Always, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the hardest does. thing. Unfortunately. The hardest thing. But, you know, uh, the thing we're excited about, like I said, is if we can get people following our blogs, which we're going to have for you, which would be a great thing to look at, you know, looking forward in the future to that being a daily thing that you'll, you'll have available to you, our merchandise line, our perfect day episodes. If we, can, if we can get a lot of support in those things, the movies will come faster. And, uh, right. and that's our goal. Right. And those, well, it and those sounds like you will... guys have a great plan put together, so we look forward to seeing everything yeah. that you come up with. Great. And Tam, Great. we're available to you, um, just so you know. And uh, again, we're really appreciative, you know, this time you gave us, uh, and we'll make our time available to you, you know, as much as we can. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that because we'd love thank to you. have you back once some of these things kick off and be able to discuss them. <laughs> I love the little teaser you have for on air, and <laughs> I just oh, thought that was perfect. No, I love that teaser too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, now, we're in the process of putting together a teaser for Perfect Day as well. So, uh, oh, good, good. I yeah, look so forward we'll to that. We'll have something else to look at. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't hurt to go back and look at the teaser that you already have on for on air. Uh, you know, a right. few times because I get such a kick out of the lines. You know, like how uh, could they do this to me? You know, <laughs> I've been with yeah. them for ten years. Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's a great project to bridge the gap between what's really happening and what we do in our fictional movie as well. So, mm-hmm. and it, and it also fits to again everything you're working with with Save the Soaps, everything we're doing with uh, with with Hales Revolution is it really is that you know after 10 years, you know John gave 18 years of his, years of his life to General Hospital on top of other things that he did, he was always there with them. And right. uh, Jordy was in and out of the daytime world. I was around it since I got here, but all my children were for the last year and a half, two years of that show. 
you know, it, it's a part of your life and it's a sacrifice to be available to those people, especially maintaining everything else in your life. Like you guys maintain your work. So do mm-hmm. we, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, we have production companies and John and I coach outside of the daytime world more so than we even do in the daytime world, you know? Yeah. So. All right. Right. Well, Jordy, what are you looking forward to the most of going to Prospect Park and reviving Dr. Castillo? Uh, you know, Pam, I have, I am so looking forward to. I, I really couldn't tell you. I don't know what this whole thing is about. I know mm-hmm. that the Castillos are going back. I've spoken a lot to Lindsay, who mm-hmm. plays Kara, uh, my sister. Uh, we're really excited. We are excited because we don't really know how it's all going to come together. Mm-hmm. Um, we've heard rumors. I, I know I've read some of the things that fans have uh, written as well about the show being a half hour long, about the show being kind of one conclusive cycle, whereas mm-hmm. like as before, like stories would keep going. Um you know, I'm excited. I I'm excited that they're bringing me back as Griffin Castillo. I love playing a doctor. I think a lot of those characteristics uh, are things that I can relate to, um, and I hope that I'm able to. You know, just I, I and I loved working with Lindsay. I mean, that was another person that I loved working with. Um, I love her too. She's she's fantastic, and you know, we both are like listen. At the end of the day, we love working as actors. We love these characters. Uh, there was some frustration that I had with Griffin, uh, you know, a little early on because they built a love story. They took such a long time to build the love story. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But I think that was because they didn't know if the show was going to be on the air anymore also as well. So who right. really knows what was going on behind the scenes? Um, I wish I could give you more of a clear answer. Unfortunately, I can't yet, even though we are starting in less than three weeks to start shooting. Uh, I know that we're going to be in Connecticut, and I know that I'm scheduled to start working on Monday, the 25th. So, uh, yeah. if I do get any, if I do get any uh, more information that I can share with the fans, and I probably will this week. I promise, promise, promise that I will be sharing um, thoughts or even pictures, hopefully, with fans if I get some more information. And uh, But I will be heavily, you know, I haven't shared any information because I don't have any information. Right. Yet. So, And, and we I know, do, too, that even if you yeah. did, sometimes you can't put it out there, so we understand right. so, that, too. So what I can share, though, may, I'll make sure that I can share. Uh, Wonderful. Whether it's little sneak, you know, uh, subtle photographs or what have you, I will mm-hmm. be heavily, heavily involved on Instagram, on Facebook, and mm-hmm. Twitter in the next couple of weeks leading up to not only Payos Revolution's launch, but also the uh, reboot of All My Children. So that I, I love can, hearing oh, those words. I, I love hearing those words. <laughs> well, you should. You were part of the reason that it got rebooted. You know, the fans know. have a huge influence now on media. And part of our kind of new media landscape is that whether, you know, people want to admit it or not, we have to engage the fans. You guys have a voice, a huge voice. And powerful people are paying attention and they're Mm -hmm. spending their money because of your thoughts and others like you. And you want product, we're going to give it to you. And I hope, and I know Jeff and John hope as well, that we can develop content uh, that will also make you guys happy and want you to come back to our website and watch what we have to offer you guys. Most definitely. And I have yes, to give we, kudos to the, uh, to the Globe um, and mainly Jeff for keeping All My Children and One Life to Live alive through the Globe newspaper. Yeah, that was really cool. Absolutely. He, he's done an article almost weekly on it and wow. what's going on and keeping everybody up to date and and stories about different people. He covered Catherine, um, oh gosh, why am I losing the name? 
Catherine Hicklin's uh, wedding, you know, things like that. And it just, uh, it, it, it makes yeah. it great for.